Hey guys, welcome to the next video and in this video, I will show you the dynamic sorting. So what I meant by that is uh, we have these three different measures plotted over here on the product subcategory and by selecting any of the measure like sales, profit or discount, our values should be sorted and we want to provide these measures into some sort of filter or a selection in from which uh, a user can select and make the changes dynamically all right so so far what i've done is nothing just taken the subcategory over here rows taken uh, the discount profit and sales from the measures and put it over there and by default they take the type of aggregation so for example average for discount sales uh, some for sales and some for profit all right so to do this dynamically provide uh, the measure values what i need to do is first create a parameter so parameter is uh, let's say um, sort by and uh, we want it to be um, string a list and uh, the list is basically um, first of all let's say profit yeah and uh, next is sales and then you have discount all right click ok and uh, sort by show parameter control so now we have these parameters but they will not do anything because we have not put it in any sort of uh, calculation or a calculated field so let's go ahead and create a calculated field and uh, uh, sorted measure all right so once we are in here we need to provide a statement which will allow us to pick the value from here so sort by is is our parameter so to make the validation over here for this parameter we can do two things either if statement or a case so let's go ahead and do it via a case case sort by and when when you have the sales then sum of sales right so whenever we are selecting sales over here it should be sum of sales and when it is profit so whatever we are writing should match with the word over here then sum of profit else the last value that we have so we will use average of discount and put an end all right click apply and okay so our sorted measure should be here now to apply the effect let's come over here and uh, click on sort sort in let's say descending order field um we have sorted measure sorry sorted measure and uh, yeah i think after that we should be okay let's click apply and okay so now we have selected the profit by default so you can see all the values have been sorted by profit if i want i want to sort by sales so now the values all my values are sorted by sales and if i want to sort by discount i have the value sorted by discount so as you can see uh, we can take any other measure that that is of our interest like quantity or if there is anything else i think there is nothing else which is remaining so we can take any measure and uh, sort our rest of the measure via this uh, dynamic sorting uh, by doing this small configuration with the help of parameters and calculated field that's pretty much it i wanted to show you in this video and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic